Crazy Bird Brain, and today we are talking about particles. Yes, we're not done. So now that we're getting comfortable at creating particles on place, now it's time to make them move. So how do you make your particles move? First, you need a move particle node, that beautiful thing. If you don't have that thing or if it's inactive, your particles are not gonna move. Now I know a lot of people will say, well, it's stupid that there's a node to make the particles move. It should be just a checkbox and whatever. It's not stupid. It's actually very great because then if you're troubleshooting your particles, you know you can just stop them from moving by just deactivating this. And you can check out, for example, what their generation is like. And then if you're satisfied, you can just make them move again. All right, so if it's deactivated or if it's unconnected, they are not gonna move. Easy as that. And there's also little things you can customize in your move particle box, but it's pretty straightforward, so I won't play with it. Now, why are my particles falling down and not going up or left or right? This is because I have another special node. Do, 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 do. The gravity node. So disclaimer, gravity in Harmony doesn't work like it does in other software. Because some software will work with like actual real gravity and mass. This is true for like Maya and like actual VFX software because they need to replicate real life. In Harmony, it's more about faking it. So the gravity is not actually a gravity. Like you don't have to enter 9.8 or was it that? I forgot my VFX class. It's been a few years. But if you go into that little box, you're gonna have a trigger. So you know a trigger, it's on and off. If it's one, it's on. If I set it to zero, then there's no more gravity and my particles will not fall. <laughs> so set it to one if you want it to be usable. And then you have X, Y, and Z. So that's the direction. So now my particles are falling because my gravity is set to minus one. If I set everything to zero, uh, my particles don't move. <laughs> if you want your particles to move, for example, if I want them to go up, I'm gonna use Y and set it to one so that they go up into the sky. All right, so I'm still gonna make them fall down because that was what was in the example. And then you can apply gravity between particles, relative gravity. This is something you have to be careful about because sometimes if your particles kind of like collide with each other, they can sometimes fly to a direction that is out of control. So use it at your own risk. I'm gonna test it out right now. Nah, okay, for mine, it's not changing much. It is cool when you have like snow or falling leaves and you kind of want them to uh, affect each other, so that's kind of cool. So it, it applies gravity between each particles and it takes into account their masses. Now the mass can be uh, played with into the sprite emitter here into the initial parameter you can play with the mass but i didn't go there yet because it's a bit more complicated for now so we're going to keep it simple then you have the relative gravity epsilon <laughs> so according to the documentation this is the acceleration fall off the further the particles get from each other so it's, it's kind of like how strong the gravity is between each of them and then the relative gravity maximum distance is adjust the radius beyond which particles do not affect each other so honestly all of this little thingy it's really much more complicated for nothing so we're not gonna cover that today um it's very not beginner friendly but you can still check it out the documentation is really fun and very precise about it so have fun doing this if you want but not on my tutorial <laughs> if you want to use this just know that it uses the mass and you can affect the mass in your sprite emitter it's in the initial parameters right here mass all right but i'm gonna keep it simple we're just gonna use the gravity here to make our particles fall but one thing i want to show you with the gravity is that Especially when you're making your particles fall, this is even more important to have a sync node because since I have a sync node, my particles just show up here. But if I didn't have a sync node, my particles would just fall on forever until they die. And it's a good thing I have a kill node because otherwise it would just go and fall down forever, right? So always have your kill and your sync. This is also gonna help your computer because it's gonna make your scene less heavy. All right, so that's it for the gravity node. Uh, next time what we're gonna see together is how to make your particles. The next thing we're gonna see together is how to adjust the velocity of your particles. But that's another subject that we're gonna talk about next week. Bye-bye. Oh. Gibou!